Namaste children. Hope all of you are doing good at home. So welcome you all in EVS class. Let's begin with today's lesson. So in previous class, what we learned children in the previous class, we learned about body parts, about our body is wonderful. So what did we learn in that chapter? We learned about the names of the body parts function of the body parts and also the number of each part present in our body. So already we have discussed about the body parts. So today our lesson is second chapter of first standard that is our sense organ. Our sense organs. It is related to the first chapter, continuation of the first chapter, but it's a different chapter. The name is our sense organs. So, children, can you tell me what do you mean by organs? What do you mean by organs? Organs are nothing but the body parts. Organs are nothing but the body parts body parts we are known as organs okay next what do you mean by sense organs what do you mean by sense organs sense organs means in our body some parts are there which does some special work for us which does some special work for us so Sense organs means parts which does special work. Special work for us. So, all together it is a sense organs. Organs means body parts. And sense organs means the parts which does some special work for us. So, let's discuss about those organs. So, next. How many sense organs do we have? How many sense organs do we have? We have five sense organs. We have five sense organs. Okay. So, what are these five sense organs? Five sense organs are eyes, ears, nose, after that tongue, next skin. So, these are our five sense organs. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. These organs are doing some special work for us. So, these are our sense organs as well as these are our body parts. But these are doing some special work. So, this is a sense organ as well. Okay. Next. Function of these organs. I mentioned at the beginning that these organs are doing some special work. So, we need to know the function of these organs. That is, why do we need these organs? What is the importance of these organs? Okay. So, next. Eyes. Eyes help us to see things around us. Eyes help us to see things around us. We are observing all the objects with, uh, with our eyes, we are uh, observing nature, we are seeing uh, this beautiful earth, right? Beautiful things we could see from the, see from the eyes. So, eyes help us to see. So, what is the function of eyes? Eyes help us to see. Right now, I am teaching on the board. So, I have to see, right? So, my eyes are helping to 
C. Okay. Next, years. Years. What do we do with our years? We have two years, right? This is our years. Also, we have two eyes. We are having two eyes. Same, we are having two years. So, what we are doing with our ears? We could listen sound. We could listen music, pleasant music, unpleasant music, loud sound, soft sound. We could hear with our eyes. Suppose if anyone talk, is talking to me, we could hear with our eyes. And we could listen good music. We could listen uh, pleasant music. We could listen the sound of animals. We could listen the sound of birds. All this vehicle sound. When we go outside, we listen vehicle sound, horn sound, loudspeaker sound. All this we could hear with our ears. Okay. We could hear with our ears. So, ears help us to hear. Ears help us to hear. Okay. Next nose how nose help us nose help us to breathe and smell nose help us to breathe and smell we could breathe fresh air from the nature with our nose constantly continuously we are breathing always we are breathing we are taking the air inside and we are releasing the air outside okay so about this process you you will learn in the higher classes but right now you know about that we breathe through our nose when we are doing yoga yoga teacher always says breathe in breathe out right so we do with our nose and also we smell we could smell with our nose whether it is a bad smell whether it is a good smell we could smell it we, when we go to a garden we uh, we saw many beautiful flowers right so the first what we do we smell the flower what is the fragrance how is the fragrance how is the scent of the flower so we breathe and smell with our nose even when your mama prepares food in the kitchen you could make out what a, what the preparation is going on in your home right how do you know that with your nose by smelling you could able to know okay so nose help us to smell and breathe nose help us to smell and breathe okay next tongue how tongue help us this is our tongue right we are having only one nose tongue we are having only one so tongue help us to taste tongue help us to taste we could taste sweet we could taste salt we could taste bitter we could taste shower all these tastes we could taste uh, we, all this uh, taste we could do with our tongue it helps us to taste we could taste the food we could taste uh, delicious food we could taste uh, sweets we could taste cake we could taste ice cream so all these activities we are doing with our tongue okay it sends the test so tongue help us to taste tongue help us to taste okay we are having only one tongue okay next skin how skin help us our full body is covered with skin okay how did our skin help us skin help us to feel skin help us to feel after touching that material skin help us to feel whether you are touching the hard object you are touching the soft object you are touching hot you are touching cold object so skin help us to feel sense of feeling skin help us to sense of feeling so skin help us to feel okay so these are our five sense organs these are our organs which does some special work for us it helps us to realize the special feelings like eyes help us to see ears help us to hear nose help us to smell and breathe tongue help us to taste skin help us to feel okay 
so these are our organs now next is how should we take care of our organs how should we take care all we need to take care of this organs right so first if i talk about eyes we are having two eyes so how did we uh, take care we need to take care properly our eyes we need we should not watch television closely for a long time we should not watch television closely for a long time it will harm our eyesight it will harm our eyesight right after that instead of that what do we do whenever now in this pandemic situation you people are always sitting in front of the camera uh, phone or a laptop to listen the classes right you are doing the classes online so you are sitting for a long time so what we have to do after the class what we have to do we should go and put water into your eyes okay put water into the eyes it will help it will help us to be comfortable so we should not watch closely television for a long time after that always in a after one hour we should go and wash our uh, this eyes okay with the water next we should eat plenty of water and we should eat lots of green vegetables and fruits to maintain our eyesight to maintain our eyesight we should always have lots of green vegetables and fruits and also water to maintain our eyesight okay so this is the thing how we should take care of our eyes because eyes are very really very delicate organ okay so we need to protect our eyes okay next ears ears also we need to protect how do we protect our ear we should not put any sharp object into our ears right instead of that we should use earbuds we should use earbuds to clean our ears we should avoid loud sound loud music because it harm our hearing power okay next we should also uh, avoid crackers because crackers are very dangerous for us as well as for our um, earth also means our uh, environment also because crackers pollutes our environment we should avoid loud music we should avoid loud speaker voice all this we should we need to avoid to protect our ears okay next tongue we should always clean our tongue with the tongue cleaner regularly we should always clean our tongue with the tongue cleaner regular basis okay next skin we should take care of our skin how we should bath regularly we should clean our uh, skin properly regular basis also nose you have to also clean your nose okay after that you sometimes you have to go outside and you have to take fresh air from the nature so these are the sense organs we should take care of that our organs okay because body is ours so it is important to take care of our body right children so this is the explanation about your sense organs so what did we learn here we learned about the names of the sense organs what do you mean by sense organs how many sense organs do we have and also function of the sense organs and how we should take care of our sense organs okay i hope it is clear in the next class we will be uh, observing some pictures and keywords okay dhanyawad children namaste children hope everything is good from your side welcome you all in evs class so already we have learnt about our sense organs right so what did we learn in the sense organs we learned about the meaning of sense organs how many sense organs do we have function of sense organs and also we learned about the 
maintenance of the sense organs means how should we take care of our sense organs so now here we will be observing some pictures regarding the sense organs okay regarding the sense organs we will be seeing some pictures so let's move on to the slide presentation now see these are our sense organs we have five sense organs eyes we have two eyes these are ears we have two ears nose we have one nose next tongue we have only one tongue and this is the skin our whole body is covered with the skin next function of the sense organs see eyes eyes help us to see things around us eyes help us to see things around us see the girl is watching the fishes inside the aquarium right fishes inside the aquarium next uh, the he is watching the sunset he is watching the sunset through his eyes the children are watching the rainbow they are watching the rainbow they are watching television they are watching television but they are watching uh, so closely right so you should not uh, watch television closely see the beautiful nature the fountain and the water see this beautiful nature we could see from our with our eyes the birds we could see birds also with our eyes next how to protect our eyes we are having sense organs we are having body parts so we need to protect them we need to take care of them so we should not rub our eyes we should not rub our eyes the boy is watching the television very closely so we should not watch television closely it will harm our eyesight see the girl is uh, giving water into her eyes so instead of now right now we people we are do, means all the time for a long time we are sitting in front of the camera laptop mobile right so we should not uh, what we will do we will uh, after one hour in interval of one hour we should go and put some water into our eyes to maintain our eyesight we should not put sharp objects into our eyes instead of that we should use ear buds the or a cotton see this type of thing it may, that we call ear buds or a cotton you can take cotton and you can clean your eyes and also if we want to maintain good eyesight we have to take lot of green vegetables and fruits we have to eat lots of green vegetables and fruits to maintain our eyesight next is ears ears help us to hear sounds ears help us to hear sounds see the picture so, uh, the girl is telling something and she is hearing so ear help us to hear the girl is listening music good music pleasant music music she is listening we can listen or we can hear bird sounds bird song we can hear through our ears animal sounds also we can hear through our ears next see the loud voice we should not uh, listen loud voice vehicle sound vehicle sound when we go outside we also listen vehicle sound right next how to protect our ears we should also protect our ears we should not put sharp objects into our ears instead of that we should use ear buds to clean our ears we should use ear buds to clean our ears and, uh, and we should not put sharp objects we should avoid loud sound we should avoid loud sound because it will harm our hearing power next we should also avoid cracker sound crackers are also not good for our ears and also it is harmful for our environment also this is the earphone we should not use earphone for a long time we should not use earphone for a long time it will also harm our hearing power next nose nose help us to smell and breathe 
it helps us to smell and breathe we are breathing all the time and it also help us to smell see the girl is smelling the flower the girl is smelling the flower this chef is smelling the food the smell of food so and here see the this girl had identified a bad smell right and we also breathe when we do yoga we always breathe so it helps us to, uh, nose help us to identify good smell and bad smell we could identify good and bad smell through our nose next tongue tongue help us to taste taste the food this is the bitter gourd means tongue tongue helps us to taste the bitter taste sweet taste chocolate salty taste short taste and also spicy taste so tongue help us to taste bitter sweet salt short and spicy see this pictures see the face that means he is eating some bitter bitter taste she, he feels bitter taste see this is short taste sweet sweet taste our tongue help us to taste the food taste the bitter sour salt and sweet how to protect our tongue we should every day clean our tongue with the tongue cleaner we should clean our tongue with the tongue cleaner this is skin skin helps us to feel skin helps us to feel skin helps us to feel the object what it is by touching that object hot uh, um, hot object whether it is hot whether it is cold whether it is soft whether it is spiny this this is the thorns cactus plant so we could feel the uh, we could feel after touching it so skin helps us to feel the object feel the object whether hot cold hard object soft object and all this so we learned all the sense organs and the and their function and how to maintain our sense organs how to take care of our sense organs uh, so already we have seen some pictures regarding the sense organs right function of each organs after that uh, the names of the sense organs we already saw some pictures now let's move on to the keywords we will learn some list of words and the spelling of that words okay keywords first word is organs first word is organs okay next second word is smell second word is smell first word is organs second word is smell third one is here third one is here okay fourth one is important important fifth word is touch fifth word is touch okay fifth word is touch sixth word is taste sixth is taste seventh is beater seventh is beater okay next eighth word is shower eighth word is shower ninth word is sense ninth word is sense so tenth word you can write over here okay tenth i am writing here tenth is breathe in this breathe so first one is organs second one is smell third one is hear fourth is important fifth is touch sixth taste 
सेवेंथ बीटर एट शावर नाइन्थ सेंस टेंथ वन इज ब्रीद ओके चिल्ड्रेन सो वॉट डिड वी लर्न लेट्स रिकैप वंस वी लर्न अबाउट अवर सेंस ऑर्गन्स नेम्स ऑफ द सेंस ऑर्गन्स नेम्स ऑफ द फाइव सेंस ऑर्गन्स फंक्शन ऑफ ईच ऑर्गन्स वॉट इज द फंक्शन हाउ दीज ऑर्गन्स हेल्प अस इन अवर स्पेशल वर्क एंड ऑल्सो वी लर्न अबाउट द हाउ वी शुड टेक केयर ऑफ अवर ऑर्गन्स हाउ वी शुड टेक केयर ऑफ अवर ऑर्गन्स आफ्टर दैट वी सो सम पिक्चर्स रिगार्डिंग दिस सेंस ऑर्गन्स and also we learnt about the keywords okay so you need to write these keywords in your notebook you have to learn these keywords in the uh, from the notebook and also you should write neatly okay so i hope full chapter is clear to you all dhanyawad